I do not remember ever starting out this early before. However, I woke up just over two hours ago and I once again thought may as well get up. And uh, yesterday I did come back to the model table so we're going to have a rollback. In fact, it's going to be a long rollback. It turns out that I spent about 20 minutes videoing here yesterday late afternoon and well into the evening. And uh, yeah, we got to where we are right now. And I had quite a quite a time with these things, trying to figure out which, what the difference was. I thought they were the same. Well, as it turns out, there is a difference between the H3 and the H4. And, uh, and I, I had quite a time gluing these little little parts that are on, on, the, on the top right here. Uh, I don't know why I had such a hard time, but I, I did. Anyway, I eventually got them. But there's a lot of frustration going on there, and uh, it could be that people don't want to watch that. So, like I say, roll ahead uh, to the time on the bottom of your screen there. If you don't want to be bothered watching this. And then you'll get back to today. Uh, now, about our sunrise. It's still dark outside. All the uh, cameras are in night vision mode. That's why they're black and white. Um, and our sunrise camera is on the uh, uh, rabbit carrot patch, uh, <laughs> sitting there on the cement patio thing. And um, yeah, it's uh, you know it was kind of funny. I checked my motion uh, sensor this morning, and uh, because the carrots looked exactly the same as they did last night, and and absolutely no rabbits came by. Uh, I don't remember that ever happening before. Uh, the the birds have, uh, aren't coming by. Oh, hey, just as I said that, it made a liar out of me. Just right now, a rabbit hopped into view. Well, maybe I'll, I'll try and find that and I'll... <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not dubbed in. That, that actually happened. Okay, uh, now where was I? That rabbit threw me for a loop. Anyway, uh, yeah, the, uh, no rabbits came by last night at all. Uh, okay, let's let's get going here, and uh, 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 I'll, I'll, uh, I'll uh, okay, neighbors leaving to go to work. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Oh yeah, the model table. Okay, uh, let's get on with it here. Uh, you know what? I just haven't had enough coffee yet this morning. Well, at this very moment, episode 971 has not gone public yet. They usually don't post until 5 p.m. Winnipeg time, as I've mentioned several times. And uh, the uh, last time I checked the computer, it hadn't uploaded either. So I'm really glad that I cut off 971 early and... Uh, yeah, because now it's probably going to be ready at 5 p.m. Now, remember yesterday I was saying something about, or 971, not yesterday, but <laughs> earlier this afternoon, I was saying that maybe there's something on the next page. Well, let's just check the next page. I mean, the that's, solution is so simple here. Okay. No, nowhere here does it say number 11 or number 10. Yes, it does in step 72. I didn't see it at that moment. I think this is the last step. My goodness, we're getting near the end. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of railings. Okay, so what this must mean, it it doesn't really matter which one of the... I wonder why they, this on the sprue, when I nipped them off the sprue... Let's see, where did they come off? Okay, oh no, that's, that says 9. That must have been something different. I, I don't know why some were labeled 10 and some were labeled 11. Because they, they all, they, they look identical to me. There's... 
there's no difference except that you put H3 on one of them and, and H4 on three of them because it's right here it says make three um, okay I, I think that's the way we're gonna go and you know what it wouldn't it wouldn't nobody would notice anyway I mean I could shuffle them all around like uh, the shell game and uh, nobody would nobody would know unless uh, well somebody was into detail I suppose would know hey Ron you got the turret number one in the, in the wrong place but nobody else would know because the uh, the the base is all the same size and they, the barrels are all the same length they're all going to fit if you see you swap them around all you want okay uh, let, let's go ahead and get some parts here okay I've discovered the difference I figured it out I don't know why it took me so long okay this is H4 and this is H3 and you can see that they are I was going to say mirror image to each other but they're not uh, no if you take four and turn it around it's going to be exactly the same well let's just flip this over here is there something different on the other side no, it it looks it looks the same if you cut this off and swing it around. It... Trumpeter, what are you doing to us here? What are you doing to us? Well, just for the fun of it, let's just take uh, four off. Now, once again, I am not seeing what I should be seeing. If you look at those things out at the ends, the corners are cut off on one of them, but not on the other. I don't know why I didn't see that. My goodness, Ron. Okay, if we take this off now and put it over here by the by the three. in such a way that everything lines up. Um, well, it's kind of hard to do like that. But you know what? I am not seeing any difference. I am not seeing any difference. Well, let's just uh, get the excess flashing off of this stuff and uh, We've got uh, flashing connecting in there, and it looks to me like uh, there's actually supposed to be detail in that. Or does something get plugged into that? Yeah, there is. There's something that goes in there. Okay, I've got the number four cleaned up here, but that is a very strange place to have sprue connected right where there's detail and it was kind of hard to nip out of there. I'd use the file to uh, kind of round that over because I, th I think that what looks like a little little uh, I don't know piece of detail it looks like it's supposed to be rounded over at least that that's what it looked like to me so that's what I did and I was thinking you know even though I think they're identical, it, it doesn't hurt to keep them separate. Okay, now I was just checking and it looks like the pieces that are going to actually be attached right, right in here where I was complaining about the fact that they did the connected the sprue is a piece of photo etch. I was just noticing that in about three minutes from right now I'm going to have to uh, attach today's episode to my Facebook page. And uh, people like Peter in Australia, that's how he watches it. He waits for me to put it on my Facebook page. So Peter, 
in uh, three minutes from right now, uh, you'll be able to see episode 971. Anyway, I'll be back here at the model table in a few minutes. Okay, we need four H7s. Now, a lot of the pieces on this sprue we're not going to need because we're going to be using the uh, uh, Tony's add-on kit here, like the, the uh, 8s and the 9s, and of course the plastic barrels. Now, there was something what I thought was a little bit different with these sevens that uh, I hadn't really noticed on the, on any of the other sprues when I would nip. And well, I'll show. I'll put the macro lens on because I got to get two more, and then I can show you better. Okay. Now, usually, when a part has detail, like this little part right here, or number sevens. And here is the seven on the sprue. Now I'll show you what I'm talking about here. When there is detail, it is usually done on the same side as as the part. Let's see if I can get this turned over here. Sorry to be getting my fingers in your way. Let's do it like this. Okay. But on these the detail was on the other side. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Unless it was a part that had detail on both sides. Whereas this one doesn't. Remember I was talking about my fingers don't work so good anymore? Anyway, I found that interesting. Okay, I think I got these about as good as I can get them. And they're all the same, so it doesn't matter which one I grab here. But as I mentioned, I am I am keeping these separate, just in case there is a difference. There's just one. We only we only need one number four, <laughs> even though there actually is four of them. Uh, okay, so we got to try and glue one of these in here. I'll recompose. Okay, I guess I could have cleaned up a little bit better here, but... No, that didn't work, did it? It's supposed to go something like that, I believe. Let me just check the manual here. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Maybe we can use Mr. T's poking device to move it back. It just doesn't seem to want to go back. Oh, there we go. I just wasn't pushing hard enough. Okay, I think we're going to use the extra thin quick setting. Just let it wick its way in there. Oh, that's, that's lots. Okay, when that evaporates, it should have melded enough of the plastic that it'll be welded together. Okay, I made a mistake here on this one that I am not going to make on the remaining three. And uh, that is, well actually I made two mistakes. No, three mistakes. Okay, first mistake was I put too much of the quick setting on. I didn't need to put on as much as I did. Second mistake was I took Mr. T's poking device, so Mr. T, this is your fault, right? And I pushed down on it. Well, when I did, 
the uh, the molten <laughs> uh, plastic came oozing out. Third mistake was I took my finger and tried to wipe it off, and it dried almost instantly when I did that. So now I've got this going on here. Maybe if I took my sanding stick, I could sort of fix it a little bit here. Mind you, I, I do believe that once this is uh, painted, we're not going to notice that. But uh, I'm not going to be doing that on the remaining three. Yeah, nobody will know it in a hundred years. Okay, let's see if we can do this one better. I move a little bit slower and more deliberately. Heavy on the word maybe. Why can't I get that to stay in the in the groove? Okay, now I want to see it if I go like this. No, that didn't work either. You know, if I just pull it back. Wonder what this thing was. I'm probably driving half of YouTube crazy here with this foolishness. You know, there is another thought. Why don't I, if I was to put just a little bit of glue there? No. Um, maybe if I take Mr. T's poking device. Now, I'm probably going to mark this. Yeah, I'm going to end up marking it. Okay. I think I know what's wrong. I should really be sanding the edges down on this to make it a little bit smaller. Um, I'm going to just do that. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now... What I've done is I've, I've filed down the, the edges. Oh, I see a little burr there. I didn't get that scrubbed off. Okay, now it, now it fits better. Now, this time we're not going to put so much on there. We don't need a whole lot. Just there. Now let's not bathe it, okay? I'm just going to pull it back just a little bit. Okay, now we'll let that evaporate. And I think once that all evaporates, it's going to be just fine. Maybe I'll uh, do the time lapse thing, as long as my battery holds out. Okay, I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to use the heat gun. <laughs> okay, the battery calved. But, uh... I think it probably is shrink wrapped about as much as it's going to. Now obviously using the heat gun was a mistake even though it wasn't set very hot. The rapid evaporation caused a boiling effect. Okay for the other two I'm not going to use the heat gun. If I do make a little mark, I'll make it right in the center and it'll look like it's supposed to be there. Oh. 
pushed down a little bit too hard maybe. Okay. Oh, careful Ron, careful. Alright, let that dry naturally. And this is how it would have looked had I remembered to stop my lens down. Well, hopefully at least part of it was in focus. You know, the fact that occasionally I will forget to stop the lens down doesn't, doesn't really bother me. But what bothers me is that I've, I've forgotten now, what, three times in the last three days? Uh, it's a little bit disconcerting. Makes me wonder, do you think we're going to get through this build? I've used this machine now, oh, I'm guessing uh, three or four times. Maybe I shouldn't use the word used, maybe I should use the word played with. And uh, so far I haven't uh, broken any threads so that I have to uh, re-thread it. Now, it does come with an instructional DVD. But I watched the DVD and I, I felt that it was not all that clear, uh, at least in, in some places. Now, here there, there's a diagram that shows you where to run the threads, but I was thinking, I, I'm going to just take my camera and maybe even the, with the macro lens, and I'm going to follow the threads, because right now it's, it's threaded properly from the factory. This is the way I got it, got it out of the box. I haven't broken any threads yet, so naturally I haven't had to re-thread it. And there's there's four threads. Uh, you, one, two, three, and four. And uh, it's a little bit complicated. If it didn't have anything like this, I don't know if I'd be able to figure out how to thread it just by looking at how it works. So I'm going to probably take and uh, make a DVD uh, for, or not a DVD, but a video for myself. I don't know if I'll put it on YouTube or not, because it probably won't be that good, but it'll be a lot clearer, and it'll be a lot sharper, and it will show exactly where the thread goes from one point to the next. Um, but I definitely won't be doing it tonight. It's really got on, yeah, and, uh, I'm starting to get really tired, and, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think that's it for this evening, folks. And uh, we'll see you in the morning. Well, it's morning. And we've had our sunrise. Uh, yeah, over two hours has passed here since I got started this morning, but I haven't really done anything for the last two hours. Um, no, I think what I'm going to do is this one here once I assemble these other ones, I'm not going to know that it's a number 10. So I think just on the inside of the base there, I'm just going to write a 10. I'll do that on all of them. Now there are, there are six of the, of the main guns. And uh, the reason there's six is because there was three F sprues. So uh, we got extra pieces here. Maybe just for the fun of it, I'll, I'll assemble a a couple with the plastic barrels because there's only metal barrels enough metal barrels for for four yeah oh about the serger uh, if anybody would like to see what one of those things looks like close up uh, you know in the comments below say yeah I'd, I'd like to I'd like to see it and in that case I'll, I'll uh, you know what I'm going to do uh, you know when I make myself my own instructional video. I'll, I'll uh, put uh, little excerpts of it in the uh, in, in a, one of the episodes, upcoming episodes of the model ship that, that doesn't have too much content. Uh, and uh, it seems that I don't have a whole lot of content. I just have a lot of talking lately. Anyway, let's, let's just move on here. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to put these uh, bases on the on the tops and let's just get at it and shut up Ron okay here's the number 10 that we assembled months ago 
And if you if we take our bases and stick them in our number tens, they fit perfectly. And I, I was I did this actually a few minutes ago, and I was going to start gluing everything up. And uh, yeah, it fits pretty good. But when I go to try and assemble a base in the number elevens, it doesn't want to fit. You can't even force it in without trimming the base. But if I go ahead to step 72, I think it is, um, we find that step, step 72 wants us to remove part of this. I don't know how much or why or what, what it's all about. We'll worry about it when we get to it. So I'm not going to worry about turret number 11. Uh, until we get to that to that point, we'll we'll just uh, do the three number tens here that are in what do we got here in step seventy. Uh, yeah, and when we get to step seventy two, then we'll worry about it. I'm not going to use the quick setting. Yeah, those ones fit together really well. Okay. Okay, now, because we are not going to be using the plastic barrels, I believe we're done with this square. There's nothing else we can do here. Um, so we are now in this section. All right. So let's turn these around so they're the right orientation to the drawing. That way there's less chance of me messing up. Now, we have to make three, see it says make three, of, of this one right here, with the H4 on the top here. Well, as, as it turns out, we, we, do have the, we do have three H4s, so that's going to work out. But this one here, we just, we just make one of. Now, that must mean if we're making three like this, this fourth one must be the turret that we have to work on in step 72. That This is what's confusing to me. Well, um, lots of things are confusing to me in this manual. Um, partly it's it's my fault, I think. It's because I'm, I'm not that experienced in... Uh, you know, any an experienced modeler maybe would, wouldn't have this problem that I'm having. However, uh, there is only three of these, so that means that we have to use these to assemble this one. Why did they not have this in a, in the next step? You know, they've they've got this one coming before this. Um, and okay, enough of that. Okay, I'm pretty sure that our bases is not going to fall out. I think we got them glued in. Um, and I think we should maybe do a, a dry run here. I have not tried these yet. But, uh, okay, and they, they face with this part facing out towards the front. And you can see the positioning pins are going to go. 
and I'm pretty sure this is going to work. Oh yeah, that one did anyway. I wonder if it would be possible to put them in the wrong way. Yeah, I think you probably could. And the last one. Just for the fun of it, let's see if they would go the wrong way. Yes, it would be possible to glue them the wrong way. Okay, we know they're going to fit. Okay, we'll just do the one on camera here. I suppose I could have put a little bit in the in the crack there, but I really don't think that's going to come off after a few minutes. All right, now we need to get our photo etch for step 70. As near as I can tell, we've got all the plastic stuck together. And uh, if we look over here, D photo etch photo etch D36 it looks scary it looks very tiny and I'll have to use a macro lens for sure for this but it appears that somehow it goes on this little what you might call a positioning peg or protrusion out coming out from the top one here and one here and uh, well, let's get the D sheet and see what it looks like. Now earlier I had said something to the effect of I had checked my motion sensor to see if any rabbits had showed up. Well, in my system I can set, here you can see it in red, if the rabbit sticks his head in the red area it, uh, it, let, it puts an alert on the timeline. It shows that there was an event and so it's quite fast, quite easy to just sort of scrub through the, uh, you know, the timeline and, and see if there's anything. You, you can see the, the alerts there. Um, well, I don't want to have to go into it, but I just wanted to let you know it doesn't take all day to do. You can check in a minute uh, to see if there was any, any rabbits or any motion set up in any of the cameras. Now, this does not work well if insects are flying around or leaves are blowing through. You get a lot of false alerts and you waste a bunch of time then. Otherwise, it, it works really well. Okay, here we are. Photo etch D36. Now, unless you're watching these on a 4K screen, you probably can't even see them. They're right here. There's uh, a total of eight of them, but there's four per sheet. One, two, three, four. Uh, I will move in when we go to nip these off. And I am going to try to put them in place but I'm not uh, holding out too much hope. I'm not too good at, uh, you know, sticking really small stuff down. I'm just not good at it, I'm sorry. But you know, a few minutes ago, I just finished editing out the uh, last few scenes that you saw. And I was surprised to find out that we are well into probably about 34, 35 minutes of video already. I'm going to call today's episode... Uh, uh, quits even though it is only what eight minutes after 11 right now we do have time to do more but what with uh, YouTube going going back into uh, slow upload you might say 
Now, I don't know if it's YouTube's fault or my internet provider's fault or what it is. All I know is it's happening. So I have to start the uploads a little earlier, especially when it's long like this. It's about twice as long as normal. So it takes twice as long to upload. Oh, uh, about the sunrise this morning, I don't have time to show it to you. It started out really nice, and I thought, oh, this is going to be great. And then by the time the sun actually went to come across the up, uh, past over the horizon, uh, it had just fizzled right out. So that's why I didn't show it. Um, I, th I think that's about all I want to say for today. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And, and all being well, uh, we'll see you tomorrow.